Hey everybody, Martin here. So today I'm going to be going over a huge system update I've done to my uh, f f phone, home phone PBX system. So, or phone system. So I moved the Yealink T31P from my room to the office. And some of you may know, this phone, this is one of my first IP phones. And in the previous system, um, we had a... Cisco 7821 and a Polycom VVX 400. The Polycom VVX 400 isn't in the system anymore. That thing's very buggy and um, it doesn't work well at all. So I've replaced that phone and we have four new phones. So I'll show you that soon. So um, I have auto answer on this phone as you can see. And the office is currently extension 313. And we, can, we have a paging soft key, and I'll go into that later. So with auto answer, um, when a room intercoms another room, such as let's say, my room it automatically answers, their microphone un unblocks or unmutes, and then um, the speaker turns on. So yeah, it's a great auto answer feature. I like it. Here, um, uh, as you can see, I have the 3 sex dash. 3CX dashboard up and running. And some of you may have also known in the previous system, we didn't have a IP phone in the office, so then what I did was I pulled up a web client on this phone. On, not on that phone, but on the laptop. So, um, now that we have an IP phone in here, that's great. All phone oh, rooms have an IP phone. So, let's move on to my room. So near my computer, and up here, next to my bed, as you can see, I have a Yealink T21P E2 IP phone. It's extension 310, we can dial into the office. Testing, testing, works well. I have the directory on this phone also. Oh, oops, I don't want to call downstairs desk. Someone's there right now. But have, all the phones have auto answer, which is very nice. I'd say this is one, um, this is a great phone. It's caught, it's very affordable. You could get this thing for like 10 or 20 bucks. So that's very nice. I like how um, the message, the voicemail message light also lights up when um, you have voicemail. So that's a very a cool feature. I like this power LED also, and these two line keys are pretty cool because they light up. The display is pretty nice. It's medium sized for an IP phone like this. The handset's pretty nice also, and I like the voice quality in this. It's very good. And this thing can also wall mount, but I don't plan on doing that. Anyway, so um, this connect. Um, the pre the office phone connects to the router. This one connects into the the wall jack, the Ethernet wall jack. I'll show you where that leads to. So nothing much for this phone. Simply just bedroom phone, bedroom phone. So let's head over to the master bedroom. Okay, we're in the master bedroom now. We also have a Yealink T20P E2 IP phone. So you guys may have known the um, Cisco phone actually used to be right here. Right here. And it will plug in to this wall jack. So, however, we have now moved it up here. Um, I've connected it to the outlet. And we have it plugged in to that. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that Ethernet port right there. I can dial an extension here. 310, send. Testing. Works well. And in fact, I'm going to demonstrate paging now. So, to page, I have the extension, the Home Depot. If you guys have seen the intercom pranks like Walmart, Home Depot, I basically took the Home Depot paging code 676. If you doubt that, you listen. As you can see, you can 
or here, you can hear that custom tone. But as you can see, I'm currently doing a page on every phone in the building or home. Another way I can page is basically lift the handset. And if you see that paging soft key, press that. And you can also initiate a page using the paging soft key. So that's very nice. Let's head on over to the guest room. So sometimes we have guests over and they want to communicate. But so but I have a phone here. So this phone is in the guest room. Not many people come in here. But um you can do everyone everything you you can do. So let's say master bedroom on the call. Hello. You can hear it. Testing, testing. Also has auto answer. I have this plugged in to the wall. And it's also plugged into AC power. Uh, so let's show you where these Ethernet ports lead. So behind, uh, next to these two laundry machines, I have this networking box. So Here's the switch. So all these cables used to be plugged into this wiring template. Um, I believe two to three years ago, me and my dad went out to Best Buy and then we got this Netgear PoE switch. Only four of the ports are PoE. The other four are just standard PoE switch. Um, PoE, not PoE, just standard networking jacks. <laughs> my voice, honestly. Um, so, Basically, I got this switch so then I could, um, because we found out that our house had networking jacks and we didn't really know how to work this thing. However, after some research I've done, it was kind of simple. Just get a switch, plug in all the wires in here, and then usually people would have their, um, router sitting inside this box also. The router is actually sitting inside the, um, office, and I, I was wondering, hey, what if we we plug that router into one of the networking jacks and then that network jack would lead into the switch and from there it would power internet to all the phones so that worked well what we usually have connected to the this switch right now or the house's home's network jacks is basically computers but for now it's all IP phones so without this thing I think I would have to spend a lot more money on Wi-Fi phones and power adapters so um, I recommend using POV, it saves you money. If you're. And this, this closet does not like to close. Okay, finally got it closed. Better try. Now let's go down to the um, kitchen. <clears throat> okay, so we're in the kitchen now. As you can see, it's extension 312, right there, kitchen. Um, I have auto answer on this phone too. You can page. And I have a phone at the um, downstairs desk, but as you can see, I'm doing a page. Which is very nice. This is powered using PoE, so the cable goes through and plugs into this network jack. And yeah, this jack, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, you can see it there goes into the wall. This thing, I don't know what happened to the top screw. I think I was experimenting with this once and then lost the screw. There goes the screw. So yeah, also the Yaling T21P E2 IP phone. There it is on the back. Get these wires. And I actually originally had this wall mounted right here, but instead of drilling a hole, I couldn't. I duct taped the wall mount and then from there I just hinged the phone on it, it um however after like a few hours or like literally just one day it seemed as if the thing was going to fall off any second so that's what I resorted to just putting on the table the reason why I put it up there is to like conserve desk space so yeah so yeah, 
This phone works pretty well. So I could call the downstairs desk. It's extension 315. So you can't see it's ringing or here. And that's the Cisco 7821, which I'm going to show you next. So here's the Cisco 7821. It's running three PCC firmware, so it doesn't need to run with Cisco's Unified Communications Manager. So it's right here in the living room. I can, I have a speed dial. I think I'm going to change that to paging, but right now it dials the office workstation. And then it calls it right there. Um, this doesn't, it doesn't even have auto answer, so I'm forced to have it on ring, ringer. I can also do a page. And paging works here as well. And pro tip when paging, make sure to use your finger to hold down the flash key. Because sometimes if you just slam it down, it creates a lot of loud noise and in some cases it could damage the speaker. So yeah, I just want to give a heads up. Unfortunately, since this isn't running on Cisco's Unified Communications Manager, it doesn't have the nor the stand uh, directory that provisions when the phone gets uh, can register to the server, so you only you have to put it in manually, and I don't feel like doing that. I might just put a pa piece of paper with the extension, so yeah. It's plugged in right there, and I'm using a PoE injector. Let's see, Let's show you. Can pass this mess of wires. So, yep, we have a PoE injector that injects PoE into the device, and down here. It's the old Polycom VVX 400. Unfortunately, this thing can't get its own IP address anymore. And it's overall very buggy. Like sometimes when I'm doing a paging, it, the call does not go through. And when I hang up, it doesn't hang up. It, it stays on the call. So now I have to go on the server and then terminate the call manually. So yeah, and overall, generally it doesn't work well. And I've been having a lot of trouble with it, so unfortunately, I'm no longer using this phone. Okay, so now we're back into my room. So now, I want to do something cool, so let's go over. I also have the dashboard on this computer, ring groups. So as you can see, I have three IVRs. These IVRs will play a audio file on loop. So I have 912, 913, and 914. These are basically voice evacuation audio files. I'm just experimenting this. But if you're a school, um, you could add these. So let's say you need to evacuate the building for a general emergency, a fire emergency, or even carbon monoxide. So we're gonna test that right now. So let's test that. Paging. <laughs> Testing the emergency evacuation tones. Please disregard any tones. Okay, so we're going to press conference, and now you're going to want to dial what, which tone you want. So I'm going to try the fire alarm tone, okay? So let's do 913, send, conference. Okay. It's a bit broken up. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? A fire has been reported in the building. Please proceed to the stairway and exit the building. Do not use the elevators. So we're going to remove that and let's try carbon monoxide alarm. I'm not going to do the uh, general evacuation because that's kind of loud also. Conference.
And to stop it, you can simply hang up or remove and meet yourself. Test. Tone testing has been concluded. And that's your message. Hang up. So that works well. You can add more tones as you want. Um, if you're going to add those tones, make sure to go in here. And if you want it to loop, um, go to the bottom. See destination for invalid or no DTMF input. If no input within one second, repeat prompt. Okay. Um, so thanks for watching my little video on my um, phone system, PBX. If you have any suggestions on what to add to it, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.